Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jason. This is the very first episode of Light and Heavy. So glad you're here. So excited to get this YouTube channel started. And uh, I'll be talking more about what that title means, why I started this channel, and all that good stuff in the next coming episodes. But this very first video, I really wanted to talk about the vision that I had for this channel and what I hope to achieve in this channel. So I have three things that I hope to achieve. Number one, I hope to teach you things. So I remember growing up that we didn't get to do a lot of family vacations. Uh, I think in my whole time in growing up, I think we went to like three vacations as a family. Two of the three were at SeaWorld, uh, and then a third was at a really nice lake in Arkansas, but that was really about it. So I knew in high school, I, I started having this wanting to travel, wanting to see the world, but I didn't know how, and I didn't know in what capacity to do that. And I went on my very first pilgrimage when I was a sophomore in high school. And it was the March for Life. And it was amazing. Actually, hang on one second. That is me. And that is my best friend, Matt. He was my youth minister at the time. That's us right there on the March for Life pilgrimage. The very first one I ever went on. And at that moment, I was hooked. I knew I wanted to do as many pilgrimages as I could in my life to go visit these holy places, these shrines, and just to soak in everything I could. Flash forward now to my senior year in high school for graduation, that's hard to say, graduation, graduation, that's just a weird word to say. Anyways, a graduation present was a three-piece luggage, big, medium, small luggage. Actually, hang on one second. Here <laughs> is the piece of luggage, three-piece luggage, that I've had since graduation. Now, I don't know if you can tell, this has been used and abused over the years. It's been around, I've been using it now for almost 15 years. There's zippers that don't have the little thing. I don't know, what do you call these things? I don't know, but anyways, that's not there anymore. Um, there's nice little you know, tears. This one's actually in better shape. It's a bigger one. Um, but if I get my smaller one here, this one also, kind of this travel size, carry-on size bag, is also missing that little tab, dongle, I don't know. Actually, both of them are now missing. Um, so, hey, I've been looking for this song. Anyways, sorry. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just been used and abused. So, here are a few places that I've been blessed to go to since buying this luggage. So, in no particular order, and I actually had to write them down because I, I wouldn't remember every single one of these. Um, so, I've been to Washington, D.C. Uh, according to my records, I've gone 16 times, led uh, a pilgrimage there 12 times, uh, vast majority being the March for Life. Uh, New York City, I've been there three times. Laredo, Texas, New Orleans, EWTN, Alabama, World Youth Day, I've been to World Youth Day three times, and Cologne, Brazil, and the last one being in Poland. Uh, I led a group to uh, Brazil, and then I also led uh, a 200 person group uh, to Poland. We'll talk about those later in the next episode, or in further episodes. I've been to Rome, Assisi, Florence, Siena, Pisa, Monte Cassino, Brussels, Prague. I've been to Malawi on a pilgrimage slash mission trip to Africa. I've been to Chicago, St. Louis, Santa Fe, and Albuquerque, uh, Topeka, Kansas. Yes, there is a shrine out there. We'll talk about that later. Uh, St. Augustine or St. Augustine, however you say that, Florida, uh, Toronto and Montreal, New and then, well, there's a big one coming uh, this fall that I'll talk about later. Those are just some of the places I've been to and I've had a pilgrimage to there. So that's the first thing I want to teach you. I have been very blessed to go to many places. I've experienced it as a pilgrim. I've also ex done it as a leader. And I know a lot of people are intimidated by doing a pilgrimage, whether it's personally going on one because you think it's too much money you can go on a pilgrimage for very cheap. You can also do it as far as time commitment. You could go 
if, especially if you live in the United States, to certain shrines all across the country. I know many people, when they think pilgrimage, they think Rome, they think uh, Fatima, Lourdes, the Holy Land, which some of those I've never even been to yet. Um, but you don't have to travel many, many miles and many, many days and a whole lot of money to have an, a wonderful experience on a pilgrimage. You can do it for maybe a couple hundred dollars, if that, and then just spend a weekend. And I wanna teach you how to do that, all right? So if you wanna do it yourself, you can do it yourself. If you wanna take a group, I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna show you tips and tricks on how to do this for a group. All right, so I'm gonna teach you as far as how to budget, teach you how to schedule, I'll teach you uh, transportation hacks and tricks and tips on that, uh, cases of emergencies, all of those things. I'll be sharing some stories, but also uh, just things that I've learned along the way, as well as things that uh, hopefully I'll hear from all of you in the community. If you've done pilgrimages, um, love to build a community up to where if people have questions, people wanna talk about certain locations and certain things, that we can do this on that channel. All right, number two is I want to show you the experience, all right? So there will be a slight element of travel vlogging, if you will, with this. Um, I know it's not really fun just to look at a shooting head for forever, however long, uh, and just give you tips and tricks. I want to bring you with me. Um, I still, thankfully, am able to go out and do pilgrimages every once in a while, and I wanna take you with me. I also wanna show you some places that you may not know our shrines and holy sites right here in our own backyard in the United States. Now, if you live in Europe, you live in another place in the world, uh, let me know and uh, God willing, I'll be able to get out there and, and be able to film it. So if you live in the United States and you have a holy site, you have a shrine, a basilica, uh, maybe a future canonization of a saint, a miracle that took place at a certain location, whatever it is, let me know about it. I want to go to those places. I want to film and I want people to see these places so that way they're like, I didn't know that was there. I live right there or man, that would be a great idea, okay? I will be going back to places that I've been to before, so that way, again, I can show you um, the, the various locations and also to teach you how to do those things from start to finish. And just also give you beautiful cinematography. Uh, I love video and I, I've got some pretty awesome things. I've got some really great friends that are gonna help teach me on how to do this. So I'm a complete novice when it comes to a lot of stuff with this. Um, I love YouTube. I watch uh, ungodly amount of hours on YouTube. So uh, you know I'm picking up little things here and there, but uh, please be patient with me. With me. See, I just fl flubbed right there. So please have patience with me and uh, please have mercy on me. So the last step, the last thing I hope to do with this channel is to inspire you to go out and do pilgrimages yourself. So one of the things about this channel is besides teaching you and showing you is I hope that that will just break down those walls that we sometimes hold ourselves up against so we can't push through and actually do it. I know so many times I hear, oh, that would be so great if I could go to those places, but I, and the excuse, the wall is being put up. I, I don't want that. I want you to be like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I can do this. And by me giving you whatever I can and whatever the community can, because I know I don't have all the answers. And what I hope is those that are excited about pilgrimages, that have done pilgrimages before, we can share those in the comments down below and really inspire each other, help each other out, um, and, and go from there. So basically teach, show, do it. That's it. Just do it! So that will be it for this episode. Don't worry, there is much more to come in the very, very, very near future. In fact, I'll probably be putting out another video about why I'm calling this channel Light and Heavy, uh, let's say in two or three days. All right, now I will give a bit of a warning. I probably won't be posting you know, consistently or very, very often uh, as far as like every day, probably won't do that. I'm gonna do my best to do it at least once a week, maybe 
uh, you know, just when I can. So just make sure to subscribe so that way you can just be in the know. Uh, if you need to hit that notification bell, whatever YouTube is doing now, uh, to make sure you get the videos when they are uploaded and published onto YouTube. And as I said, I want to build a community of those that love to do pilgrimages. So leave your comments down below. If you've got questions for me about pilgrimages, leave them down below. I want to hear from y'all. I want to be able to do episodes of Q&A with y'all. I'll be on Instagram, also on Twitter. I'll leave the links down below because it's unfortunately not at light and heavy because those were already taken by now, but I'll leave them down below so that way you can start following me on those two platforms on social media and you can stay up to date live in time uh, if you want to get a sneak peek of what certain videos will be coming out ahead of time uh, before on YouTube. But thank you all so much again for watching. Talk to you soon.